You probably know what a Shih Tzu is, but do you know that it comes in different types? While this dog breed's name translates to Little Lion, there is nothing to fear about these dogs. Shih Tzus are adorable, little companions that will shower you with love and affection. For today's video, we'll talk about the eight different types of Shih Tzu. As a refresher, Shih Tzus come from China. Originally, they served as companions for royalties and emperors, which meant that they spent most of their time at the palace. Today, they are still great companions for most household types. However, since they've been around for a long time, it is no wonder that several types were created out of the standard Shih Tzu. In general, all Shih Tzu types are loving towards their humans. They are social dogs who love to meet new people, but they are the happiest when they get to relax in their owner's lap. If you're looking for a dog that can compete in dog competitions, this breed can also be trained for various sports, agility, obedience, and rally competitions. As we go through this video, we'll talk about the various types of Shih Tzus and how they differ from each other. Hello there, and welcome to Animal Insider. If you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to our channel for your daily dose of dog-related content. As mentioned earlier, for today we'll talk about the eight types of Shih Tzus. If you're ready, then let's begin. 1. Black Shih Tzu A solid black Shih Tzu is very rare. To be registered with the American Kennel Club as a solid black, the Shih Tzu must not have any color other than black. Even a tiny amount of other colors will result in a hybrid Shih Tzu. Aside from its black coat, a black Shih Tzu also has a black nose, paws, and eye rims. As they mature, it's normal for these dogs to have a silvery coat color. Sun exposure can also affect the black Shih Tzu's color. When they're exposed to sunlight, their hair can develop rusty or red highlights. While all Shih Tzus look majestic, it is undeniable that a solid black looks more regal and magnificent. When we talk about their temperament, the black Shih Tzu has a similar personality to a common Shih Tzu. Like all other dogs, their temperament depends on how they're raised. A dog that is trained and socialized will grow to be outgoing, obedient, and loyal dogs. So it is important to ensure that your dog receives proper training and socialization for him to grow into a well-behaved companion. 2. American Shih Tzu The American Shih Tzu is characterized by its small, square-shaped heads, shorter muzzles, shallow flat chest, high and forward-facing legs and frontal shoulders, small, wide-set eyes, and short yet flat tail. This type also has a short body, but the limbs are long. Because these dogs have a body that's close to a square, their movement tends to be more dynamic. They also look incredibly wonderful while walking. The American Shih Tzu was recognized by the American Kennel Club in 1969. 3. European Shih Tzu Next, we have the European Shih Tzu. This type is commonly seen in Australia, Russia, and Europe. These dogs have rather large heads, long necks, large eyes, broad chests, and a tail that is held high. They also have a wider posture compared to American Shih Tzus. The European Shih Tzu is recognized by the United Kingdom Kennel Club in 1946. 4. Imperial Shih Tzu One of the most distinguished features of Imperial Shih Tzus compared to other types is that they're much smaller in size. On average, this type of Shih Tzu only weighs around 6 to 9 pounds. For your reference, an average Shih Tzu weighs between 10 to 18 pounds. While Imperial Shih Tzus came from purebred ones, they're usually made by picking the runt of the litter which results in a dog with genetic defects. Nevertheless, this breed still makes great companions for all members of the household, including children and elders. Due to their size, they must be handled very carefully. And we're already halfway through this video. So far, we hope that you're learning something new on our topic for today. But don't go away yet. We have four more Shih Tzu types to talk about. So without further ado, let's continue. 5. Blue-Eyed Shih Tzu Another rare type of Shih Tzu is the blue-eyed one. True to its name, the blue-eyed Shih Tzu has blue eyes due to the lack of black pigment in a dog. While all newborn dogs have blue eyes that get darker as they grow, 
this breed's blue color remains throughout his life. Most often, blue-eyed Shih Tzus have dark brown or gray noses, eye rims, and paw pads. Sometimes this gray color may have a blue hue, especially in certain lighting conditions. This type of Shih Tzu also differs in coat color, but the most common is gray. However, it does not necessarily mean that a Shih Tzu with a gray coat has blue eyes, so you need to check their nose color just to be sure. 6. Teacup Shih Tzu The miniature size of Shih Tzu is what we call the teacup Shih Tzu. They are the tiniest of all the Shih Tzu types, and for this reason, they are loved by many people across the globe. Some claim that these dogs remain tiny because the way they are bred is manipulated. In most cases, they are the result of breeding two runts of a litter. However, sellers do not inform potential buyers about this. This results in a dog that is prone to many health problems. When it comes to their temperament, the teacup Shih Tzu is the same as other types. They are cheerful, very loving and loyal companions to all members of the family. However, because they're tiny dogs, they're best suited to live with older children who already know how to handle them properly. 7. Brindle Shih Tzu The term brindle is not specific to any color. Instead, it's the term used when many colors come together, resulting in a patterned coat. The brindle Shih Tzu is considered by most people as the most beautiful type of this breed. These dogs come in a mixture of different kinds of colors, such as black, gray, brown, rust, and other colors which result in a dog with multicolored tones. The pattern also varies for every dog. Some may have tight patterned coats, which means that the stripes closely vary together. Others may have brindles that appear in specific areas, such as the back. Brindle Shih Tzu is recognized by the American Kennel Club. Therefore, the term brindle Shih Tzu refers to the color of the coat that a Shih Tzu possesses. 8. Brown Shih Tzu as the name suggests, the brown Shih Tzu comes in brown color, or chocolate, or liver as others call them. However, a brown Shih Tzu does not necessarily mean that he will have a brown coat. Instead, they are distinguished from the color of their skin. Nevertheless, it is still possible to get a dog with a solid brown color. The darker ones are called chocolate, while the lighter ones are called liver. These dogs have brown shading on their nose, paw pads, and eye rims. So, we talked about the differences to help you distinguish the eight types of this breed, but what are their similarities? Overall, all Shih Tzu types have similar needs from their owners. These dogs need careful, consistent, and proper handling. While they may have big personalities, their compact bodies are fragile, which means that they are best suited for homes with older children who already know how to play with them safely. When we talk about basic needs, some of the things you need to provide your dog are sufficient exercise, proper diet, regular veterinary checkups once or twice a year, regular grooming, proper training, early socialization, and of course, plenty of love, time, and attention. If you can successfully provide for their needs, then you are sure to have a dog that will give you and your family endless affection, regular entertainment, and plenty of love. Surely, with one of these dogs in your home, you'll never feel alone. Lastly, keep in mind that, like other small dogs, Shih Tzus tend to be stubborn. This means that training sessions can be quite challenging. Therefore, if you're looking to bring one of these dogs to your home, make sure that you are patient, consistent, and creative with the training. It's also important to establish yourself as the leader of the household to ensure that they will listen to your commands. So long as they're house trained, you won't have any problems having one of these dogs at your home. And that ends our video for today. Among the eight Shih Tzu types we talked about, which do you think is best for your home? Comment down your thoughts below. As always, if you enjoyed today's content, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. To be notified when we upload new videos, make sure to click the notification bell button. Once again, this is Animal Insider. Thanks for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video.